everybody, DSN60 here again, and we are back on DesireCraft for a new regional tutorial. As you can tell from it, it's going to be Mel. Uh, if, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be Melons and Pumpkins. Now, this is a really easy tutorial. What the? F That's been going on for a while now, and I've, every recording I've done has had that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, yeah. So we are going to do melons uh, or pumpkins. You can actually do either way. You can uh, the pumpkins and melons function the exact same way. So you can just do either one. All right. So it's the easiest way to do it. There's several ways to actually do it. To be quite honest. Uh, one way is to you set it up like this to make it nice and efficient and then you protect just these areas over here now doing so they cannot break that and you let them have build access on the main level so you could just region this whole area that you're going to allow them to build at or excuse me allow them to uh, destroy and they'll be able to break this all right now that's a little bit less time-consuming because you just got the you're killing three levels that are three rows at a time instead of just two but it's still just as tedious now the second method in which I actually prefer and I'll tell you why in just a second is to protect the two the air just the area where it's actually going to grow now, this is for one this is for a couple of reasons one all you have to do is give build access to each individual row right here now instead of denying it for these three you just uh, allow access here and number two the way we're going to do it it's basically the only way they can grief is to right here whereas the other one they could do, you know, depending on how you have it set up, they could actually do that. And that would be griefing as well. But if you're not on to catch them, there's not much can be done. So, I like my uh, the method I'm using here. And it's real simple. So you could do it two ways to, set the, to start it up here. I know everything's in groups of two, isn't it? You could either do one block out which will protect from here back or literally just do it right here where the first melon will spawn either way it works uh, since it's only one block out I prefer to have it out here just to make sure I have everything covered alright let's go all the way here and once you've found exactly where you want to go and in my case it's going to be right here actually going to do it right here on this little back plate but that's where I have my current one but you can set it right here and then you take your handy dandy wand which we got from doing slash slash wand all right so first position with a left click second position for the right now that's 70 blocks covered up so 45 down too wide and by one tall so 45 blocks now the great advantage of this with this row if you're really cheap and hard or well really cheap or just hard up for cash you can actually make this almost yeah. nearly infinite okay but it could be nearly infinite uh, you have a hundred or 1.5 million blocks to claim so only doing these two rows and just claiming those you, know, you can stretch for a very long way unfortunately though if you wanted to protect these you would have to make regions all the way across for there but again 1.5 million blocks that can stretch a long way so you can protect it um, 
you know, ideally the best you could do is 74 blocks by 74 blocks by 255. That's all the way to bedrock to build limit. And that will get you 1.47 million blocks, which is the closest you can come as a perfect square, I should say, to making that. But yeah, uh, once you got the point set, RG claim, region name, so this is farm stuffs things. And there you go. Already claimed, and just do RG fl uh, flag, farm stuffs things, or whatever you're going to name yours, and build allow. And boom, that's it. And that's all you have to do. And now anyone who comes here can just hack up the stuff. Now you could be even more fancier and, you know, do Bill G non member allow. Alright. But it either way it gets you the same results. Okay. Anyway. Uh, that's all I have really for this. It, oh, except for this last part right here. To start this up, easiest way, get a seed and quickly plant it. And I'm out of bone meal, but you just really bone meal it up. But if you wait, this will actually grow. And this works in vanilla Minecraft as well, not just these types of servers. As long as you get... As long as you hoe it up and then get the seed down before it turns back which it does in like usually under 10 seconds or so uh, it will start to grow without water being around it it'll grow a little bit better with water around it but you can always just bone meal it to this point and that's the only thing that matters if you guys have any other if you guys have any questions or any other tutorials you'd like to see on here, just let me know. It's I've been a while since I've been on here, like I said before, but uh, you know I'll be happy to learn something real quick and show you guys in a simple manner. All right, until next time, guys. Though as always, take it easy now.